Well, we believe we're the first or last, maybe, ghost makers and sellers in the world. Um, we make all our products upstairs. It is uh, a product called the York Ghost. It's a handmade item made here in York on the Shambles. Each one is unique, hand cast, and, and no two are ever the same. In fact, we do say that if you find two the same, you can, you can have one of them. Um, but no one ever has, and no one ever will. Uh, so yeah, we make, we make a ghost. Uh, this city is known for its ghosts, and that dates back for centuries. There's been stories handed down for hundreds of years through the city, uh, and York is known throughout the world for being haunted and for its ghosts. And for the first time in a long time, people can come and take home a York ghost as a souvenir of the city. It's a British product. Uh, it's a natural product. There's no plastic. In fact, there's no plastic in the shop at all. Um, so it's a British non-toxic natural product. And the coloration of the ghost is throughout, so we don't paint them. It's, um, it's part of our process, and that's what ensures that no two are ever the same, in fact. So that's all part of our process, but we are a little secretive about that. We know that York has this reputation around the world, and there's a, there's a lot of good ghost tours and uh, walks that, um, uh, that sort of spin off that fact. But what we wanted to do is we wanted to produce a souvenir um, for York, which is a symbol of the city. And it's uh, probably a better souvenir, we believe, than a mass-produced plastic item, which is made a long way away, perhaps in the Far East. And people come from the Far East, ironically, and buy something that represents York, made in the Far East, and they take it back to the Far East. So we wanted to do something which was a symbol of the city, which was based in its haunted reputation, but was very much a British product that's made so locally that you know it was made above the shop and brought down below the shop which is a really old-fashioned model and a lot of the shops on the shambles would have been using that model hundreds of years ago where they made rope or candles in the shop or above the shop and they sold them here as well.